Uh, hi, uh, today we will have uh, certain question answer sessions like uh, on the uh, whatever the real time and SAP MM related whatever things we have discussed in those videos. Uh, we will have a session to understand what in a, what kind of questions we are getting and uh, I will resolve along with this, uh, certain kind of required examples. Now you can start with your first question. Mm -hmm. Actually in the Right now I will come with this one only, like a ASAP methodology, okay? Mm -hmm. There uh, we are preparing first BPP and then uh, KVC and then gap analysis, like that you have said in the uh, mm -hmm. studio, right? Mm -hmm. so, so I want to know BPP for some clarification, like if I will go there then I can able to ask you some doubts. Okay. That uh, BPP document. Mm -hmm. Then uh, you said like organization level I need to ask you first. Suppose purchasing some standard purchasing organization, reference purchasing organization, so mm -hmm. many things will be involved in that. Mm -hmm. So how, how uh, in SAP how we can define in that BBP? See in the BBP mainly we uh, map the processes. Okay. Uh, that in that KDS documents we will uh, decide like um, how many purchasing organizations and how many plants and how many company codes and how many material types you are going to create and the purchasing document types these all things we incorporate in the KDS documents the, mainly the things which you require for the configuration when it comes to business blueprint uh, we can incorporate uh, for example if you create a BBP for purchase order processes if you create a BBP for purchase requisition at that time you can keep the same uh, purchasing document types also document type number oh. ranges if required the data which okay. you are kept in the KDS the same thing you can keep in the individual BPD so here in BPD uh, the, as I mentioned like we will the processes what you are uh, preparing like for example the material master vendor master, info record and uh, purchase requisition, purchase order each BPD what you mentioned for example the material master what you mentioned uh, you just give a background of uh, the materials uh, which you procure and we can maintain the inventory management inventory in our company and also uh, we have a different kinds of materials in the business and certain materials we maintain as a stock and certain materials we directly consume for the respective production activities or uh, respect to the business activities these are all kind of some certain background we have to write about that materials and then we will go uh, in a way like uh, as per the business requirement we are creating the around some eight material types in that eight material types certain materials are raw materials and certain materials are semi finished goods and few materials are uh, finished goods these all details we have to mention in the BPD and also the processes like um, the middle master I want, know, mm -hmm. I want to know organization structure in SAP SAP related with SAP mm -hmm. now if we will compare if we, if we will compare look into like real estate industry mm -hmm. first it will come as a land sourcing like like land land development it will come and then legending part will come and then engineering part will come and then purchasing part will come and then sales part will come. It is a total entire thing as a real estate industry they will follow. Mm -hmm. And now in the SAP, if you will come to know only SAP MM, then mm -hmm. there we are involving only such criteria. If only like uh, such criteria, like means only we need to create, like what you said, finance people will create uh, company codes, like they will create. And only we are in SAP MM, only we are creating plants and storage locations, like. And then yeah. we are assigning to the company code. Yeah, we in so, our purchasing organization plan yes. storage okay. location and the purchase group. Okay, these are the yeah, uh, these mainly. I want to know. Yeah. Hmm. These are the main uh, what you call uh, organization elements from MM side. Or the company code, uh, controlling area, and all the FI side, we will uh, assign the organization elements from one to one that account to business. Correct, correct. Yeah. Okay. Then here, purchasing organization is we are assigning to the company code and plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, purchasing group, we are not assigning any company yeah, code it, and it, any. It's an individual. It's an individual organization element which won't be assigned to any other thing. 
only we assign uh, to the master data like in the during material master mm -hmm. or uh, info okay. record and also when you create a PO we give that one but yeah. uh, during configuration we won't assign to any other organization element. Correct. But in, in BP day that's what I am asking you. I am asking one doubt here. I am getting one doubt. We are purchasing group. We are not assigning any company code, any purchasing organization. Mm -hmm. and any plant, any storage location also mm -hmm. but while procuring the materials we are adding this purchasing group mm -hmm. for everywhere in material while creating the material uh, material group also we are uh, we are uh, adding this purchasing group but mm -hmm. how we can add this purchasing group people in our company suppose 10 people are the one purchasing group another 10 people will be another purchasing group how we can add one group in this like one group will be users 10 users will be one group right suppose how we came to know this? See, that, that can be like uh, we don't have any uh, control uh, assignment in the configuration. For example, the purchasing group is like a, the purchasing group is simply we call it as a, is a buyer. Okay? Okay? Okay, correct. Okay. No, buyer. The purchasing group mm -hmm. is a person or a department okay the person for example if your company is having uh, certain employees of some 500 300 employees and uh, you have less kind of recruitment when it when the company is a small company then the yes. purchasing department yes. contains some four or five people at that point of time what yes. will happen uh, the, some five people are there five people will have a uh, five names and uh, they will have a mobile the number telephone number fax number each one will have a printer number and all here uh, there the, each person for example uh, ganesh is uh, taking care about all the uh, raw material like our uh, yeah yes. and uh, the suresh is taking care about all services and the ramesh mm -hmm. is taking care about entire import procurement that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's yes, right. Yes, At that point of okay. time, what we do in the purchasing group creation, we maintain a group name and then in respect to person's name and phone number and his mail ID and all, we can maintain in the what you call the purchasing group creation. If it is a company, right. here, we are not, here we are not able to create purchasing group also in SAP. Right? That is the standard one. While selecting the while creating the material itself, it will ask the purchasing group. No, here we are getting some standard ones. No, 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 so. Yeah, yeah. That is what I'm getting. No, no, no. Yeah. We can uh, we create a new purchasing groups. Uh, SPRO material management purchasing. Okay, you are thinking like only some standard we can give. No, no, we can create. Here we have the create yeah, per create yeah, purchasing yeah, well, group. Okay, this is the create purchasing yeah, group. Mm -hmm. See here I will create like a new purchasing group something Z01 purchasing group name is uh, okay, But here we are not assigning any company code to this Yeah 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 it that's all that's all we can use the same product. purchasing group for anybody uh, any mm -hmm. anybody we can use uh, but thing is uh, generally the purchasing group will play the role during release release process and all uh, the respect to combination where we assign according to that we will get the release uh, indicate release uh, tab in the purchase order like that we can control but uh, purchasing group won't be assigned to, uh, to any other company code that's why for example the Z01 can be used by any company code in my SAP mm -hmm. system okay any anyone we can use yeah, yeah. anyone can purchase this car which materials to that company mm -hmm. see just I'm creating already somebody else the admin department okay. like that we can create a new purchasing group and uh, the thing is the main control will be like um, for example in the release strategies and all the purchasing group will play the main role because the admin manager has to the PO if you want to create uh, if you assign the admin then that uh, admin manager will the prospective PO will go for a approval to the admin manager Yes. And uh, HR department, yes. HR manager. At that point of time, purchasing group will play the role for that. Correct. 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 Yes, okay. 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 Next question. When you get when you get a question like, what is the organization structure in SAP EMM? Then you have to yes. tell 
the company code is already available like uh, the finance which was created by the finance department the okay. as an organization structure of mm the purchasing organization which is responsible for the procurement activities and uh, we have a plant where our man respect to business processes will happen if you are a manufacturing company manufacturing will happen if you are a courier company your courier related activities will happen if you are a retail company they were sales the whatever the retail kind of uh, activities your business where your business is happening maybe it's a manufacturing or it's a selling of goods it's a trading of goods whatever your business that's the plant okay. and the uh, storage location the storage location which comes under each plant uh, where we store the materials and then the purchasing group the purchasing group is a person or a department who is involving for the procurement who is responsible for the procurement activities the purchasing organization is an organization which is responsible for the procurement activities and the purchasing group is a buyer means the direct department or a person who is procuring the materials these are the four main organization elements for sapm that's enough the function uh, specification and the logic wise uh, i will uh, share you that uh, related to the question and answer and uh, you can you can understand like the main critical things like where you do the testing and what is the difference between unit testing and uh, sat unit testing is a transaction code based testing it is done in the uh, development system and um, sat will be the scenario based testing the what are the scenarios the where the business involves the daily the company what kind of activities they do that testing the scenario based testing will be done in quality system that will be called as a like system acceptance testing when the business you do the same template they call it as a user acceptance testing okay uh, that kind of differences you have to know what is the difference between you and you know, what is the use of doing the two times so you know, why do we want to do the testing or well, that kind of things you just understand and if you have any questions you can address to me okay okay no problem. the logic wise the functional specification is mainly the communication between uh, the functional consultant to the technical consultant about the requirement of the development and also where you mention the background of the requirement and the background of the development and also the logic how to get the data the table and field names how to fetch the respective field from which table you have to get the data and also for example if you want to know the valuation class of a material you have to get uh, from mbew table by passing the material number mat nr then you have to give a logic like uh, pass mat nr material number in table mbew and get the field valuation class the bkls that's the kind of uh, logic you have to write that is about one field and saying and uh, if it is a multiple fields if you are aware about the tables you may not remember each field in the table because each table contains 100 fields 150 fields even i also can i won't remember all the fields and all the thing is where we work frequently and certain popular tables and fields just i can remember at some level because of the experience but you don't have to remember but you should know there is a table that should contain these fields how we can understand the table for example material master mera merc merd what are the important tables are there you just check that tables then you will understand yeah, yeah. what in which it is available okay that's and also the function specification related things also i will share and if you still have any questions you can come to me okay uh, when you keep the real estate and construction these kind of companies you, just, you have to highlight the main area of uh, service procurement service procurement and the material procurement also we have uh, civil materials like uh, sand cement okay. uh, these kind of okay. items and the service procurement which involves you like uh, how many people you are taking for a work worker from a contractor you create a po you create a po to yes. the contractor uh, i need uh, these kind of uh, these many labors uh, as for the mandates okay. we create a service uh, by creating the mandates okay. which each person okay. the days according to that you can do that payment you will try to create some certain kind of service pos by seeing my uh, service procurement document i prepared that service okay. procurement uh, that is a service procurement you have to concentrate more and the material procurement will yes. be more or less similar 
and okay. uh, you just understand the concept of retention that FI people correct, will correct. take care uh, because in correct. conception uh, mainly the retention will be the important thing if you open our um, invoice tab you see that uh, yes. anyway, I have a system in front of me I will just show you that uh, the retention is just uh, you know you know right I think you already are working in that uh, they don't pay the 100% as a the payment they do 95% of the payment correct. and they keep some 5% as retention you just give that kind yes, of flavor yes, uh, how retention because construction people will use and get some command on uh, service procurement that is more than enough remaining things everything will be similar how we are doing from for other things that's what here we can able to retention also here we can able to detect yeah, yeah, in SAP we have a retention okay. where you can mention like uh, if you see this uh, payment processing header level retention we can give here the security bond are applicable or uh, had a level security bond how much percentage once you select that retention for example I am giving the security bond once I click on the retention payment processing will be retention here also we in invoice tab also you know it is a retention means that uh, how much percentage you have we want to keep yeah, on the agreement yes, yes. yeah that things Correct. we can uh, okay. keep that uh, retention levels and also yeah, once you select this header level uh, applicable you can give the five percentage if you give the header level what will happen for example you have uh, 10 items in the PO but the total I uh, total how much amount the, for example if it is a 10 lakhs PO then on that five percent will be there if you are uh, keeping that item level that will be each item uh, how much amount you are keeping that will be decided okay see for each item you can keep the return super in the invoice tab okay. if you select the header level overall you can keep the how much amount you want to keep the retention 10 percentage generally it will be 5 percentage right and uh, kind the of business scenarios yes. I have seen they used to keep the yes. Depending upon agreement. Mm, yeah, you have to concentrate on service procurement and uh, somewhat re in this retention area and also the material okay. standard procurement. We can uh, mainly concentrate on that. The rest okay. all things will be similar. You don't have uh, any other things you have to concentrate. The batch management, those things you don't have to concentrate because the in real estate we don't use the batch management mm -hmm. at all yes. because we don't do and any manufacturing. We don't have much quality system and all. Uh, the also yeah, they can use because um, one side to another to side they use to transfer the materials and all. Yeah. I think the mainly yeah. the STO without delivery because the sites may be available in the same city. The same city yes, which are yes. what are you having the distance from 10 kilometers that's why they don't go with the delivery and all. They can do directly transfer posting with uh, the 3 not 3 not 1 3 not 3 that things they can do. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah, I know, but only this one with the delivery I want to learn uh, that settings will be there configuration. Yeah that, that you can try with my I have documents right uh, STO intra company and all. Yeah I tried uh, but I am not able to generate this delivery type and all. Uh, that we will discuss in later. Right? Yeah, yeah you just try if you have any questions then I can shoot out. Uh, the in, inter company uh, you can just understand the process if you don't get also not much because uh, there is a pure billing is involved right where the price is coming right. from billing and all. That will be along with SD consultant when you do you can understand that one but you should know the intra company. Intra company yes. Yeah intra company at least if you run the intra company scenario that is more than enough because uh, you will understand that one and all. That inter company the process is completely as a standard procurement. The only thing is uh, where you will assign our vendor as a supplying plant that's why the shipping tab everything will come. Hmm? The install things will be same. Just try to create or uh, if you still get any issues so then uh, you can address to me. Because already I have run uh, okay. scenarios everything I have with me. Then I can show you okay. how to create that uh, STO preview center. Hmm? Okay. First I will clear the all these things then I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? Okay. okay then. Uh, I will share okay. that video also and if you have any questions you can address to me. You just go through the videos again. Hmm? All the best. Okay. 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 okay.